Well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with a beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kicks, jumping high kicks, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, so, most people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight, and he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out, but he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker, one of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 140 pounds, fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Sydney, Australia, assassin. All right, break the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, not fight. Outstanding matchup of strikers. Any chance this thing hits the canvas tonight? I don't believe so. I think when you have two high-level strikers like you have in these two men, they're going to go to the center of the octagon, and it's going to be a kickboxing match. A kickboxing match that you would see in a ring. Tonight, you get to watch it inside of an octagon. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Kick to the body now. That one won't land. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Big punch from the clinch. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Jab hurt him a little bit. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Lock that kick to the body. Lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Nice kick. Another shot lands upstairs. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Couple of chins here being tested early. What a body kick. Ooh, big shot land. Just
just misses with the right. Sliver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh! Blocks the shot. Well, it's been a kick-heavy approach so far, but it has worked out for him, DC. Another nice combination, largely of kicks. Kick, 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 huh. kick. Until you stop it, he's going to continue to blast those shins into every part of your body. Good stick. Just misses there with the left. Got the single collar tie. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. What a tricky head kick. Big kick land. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. And they separate. Oh, big Superman punch there. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the... Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Back to the feet. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Left hand punch to the punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Look at the turnover in that kick. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. was there earlier, not there on that attempt. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, man, how is he standing? Brutal knee to the body. Oh, really?
exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Trying to go to the body here, unable to find the target. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that one. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Yes, they heard him in the last. Oh. He's got him hurt here. the shot. Oh! That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Nice strike. Look at the force behind that leg kick. He blocks the punch. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Straight right. Misses. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. So oh, wow! He's perfect. He him up. Go get it. Oh, big left. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground upon combinations. Ninety seconds now to go in the round. Lands with the ground and pound. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh man, is he on wobbly legs. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, big punch land. Play. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched him. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors...